All right, guys, today we're in 2005 Audi TT. We're going to show you how to run a microphone. It's actually pretty easy in this car. Um, first thing I'm going to do is show you um, how to take this apart. In this car, we actually, we're actually going to run a microphone into here. We actually already did. Um, the microphone's already in here. Um, we just had to make sure we can Dremel and everything. So, uh, And then, if not, you can just hook it right here. We recommend this location only because um, it's hidden, so it sounds better. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, also, it looks better, but all right. So first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna pop this little light cover off. Right, let me just grab a different tool. That one's a little. Thick. All right. So we're gonna grab this tool right here. All right. Just go around the edges and pop it out. Come right off. All right. And then once you do that, you're gonna see over here there's two metal clips. All right. The metal clip you're gonna pull forward. And then it's going to drop down a little bit. I'm going to do that to the other side too. All right. And then once you do that, you pull forward. And that's it comes down. This right here just unplugs. Okay. This is wiring from the microphone. Don't mind it. Now you're going to stick your hand up here and see where the metal clip is. There's a pushable metal clip. All right. Now I find it here. Pretty much you're going to push from the end. If you look over here and you push, it doesn't come out. That's not the right end. You push over here and then you see it comes out. You can see a giveaway comes out all right so you see that it's gonna pull like this pull backward and when you look over here see, this is the microphone all right so this little metal piece when I found that it was on the right I'm gonna assume yeah it can only go on the right because you okay yeah if you look at the sizing it's over here so no matter what you do you're gonna push from the right because if you look at the gap over here the gap over here is not as big as the gap over here okay so, um, that's that. If you look over here, um, we pretty much put a factory style microphone in there and we covered it with electrical tape. Further down the video, we're gonna show you exactly how we did that, okay? So now we're gonna come over here. And if you come over here, you're gonna see your fingers can almost touch. All right, so we're gonna grab the end of the microphone. If I learn how to operate a tw twist tie. All right. Um, you could probably pop this down to this uh, OnStar thing, but to be honest with you, I played with it for like two seconds and it didn't look like it was coming out easy. So when stuff doesn't come out real easy, I try to avoid it because if I'm having a little bit of an issue with it, you guys are gonna have one hell of an issue with it. Or the guy who knows how to take it down is sitting at home laughing like he couldn't do that. <laughs> All right, so pretty much gonna feel it coming through once you do and I'm gonna put two fingers in here hold that down as I guide this all right make sure you do this one swoop because last thing you want to do is crease the headliner if you play with this for a couple minutes you know the headliner the headliner may stay and also make sure you don't make the mistake I just did which hopefully I can get out of easy can I get out of this easy I got lucky. Oh, let's not count. There you go. Haha! -ha. I got lucky. It came out the right way because if I got unlucky, I would have had to rerun that. So, of course, make sure that the wire goes through here and then through there. Just goes to show you everyone makes mistakes. Also, leave a little slack. Um, what slack are we leaving? That should be enough. Just so you have you know room to play with. All right, so then we're just gonna grab this and this is gonna tuck through here. All right. And that's that. Uh, I'm gonna plug this back in. Yanka. This goes there. Tuck the wire a little bit so it doesn't sit above a light. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but better safe than sorry. This goes back in there. Voila. And this goes back in here. Voila. All right, so let me uh, adjust the angle and we'll show you how to do the rest. All right, guys, now we took the piece out of the car. I'm going to come inside to show you how to take everything out. If you look over here, there's a little, like, indent for the microphone. Um, but for some reason, it has the grill on the front. It doesn't have an opening. So what we're going to do is we're going to separate these two pieces. And with the Dremel, we're going to drill in there and open that up. So all you're going to do is going to flathead screwdriver. You're going to kind of stick it in here, 
Actually, start in the middle. It's hard to show you. So you're going to stick it in the middle and just lift up. And you see that releases. Do the same thing on the other side. And then when you get to this end over here, this is the hard part. Because you kind of got to bring it in. And you got to be careful. Also make sure the piece is warm. Because warm plastic bends. Ice cold plastic breaks. Alright, so the other side is going to come out by itself. Alright. And then that's it. And then when you open these two up, you'll see this has the foam behind it. And then this over here, um, we're going to Dremel. So I'm just going to Dremel through here. If you look at the microphone, this is an Audi microphone. Um, so all we're going to do here is we're going to take this and we're going to cut off, snip off these two edges right here so it fits in. All right, and then that's it. I'll come back and I'll Dremel. All right guys, so I'm back. So pretty much what I just did was I dremeled a hole and then what I did was I, I find it out with a, uh, a file. All right, yeah. so what you're gonna do right here is you're gonna grab these two, the cable's coming out of here. See it? So you're gonna grab this end over here, snip. This end over here, snip. So that makes it fit nice and easy in here. Now, when you come into here, um, you'll see this thing. So this was towards the passenger side, which means that this is the way this is going to face. Uh, if you look in here, the microphone is actually facing that way. I usually try to put it facing the driver first. Depending on the acoustics of the car, it depends on how it's going to sound better. So um, try it one way. If it doesn't work, pop it out and try it a different way. Um, like I said, it, it never really, uh, you know, people just hear... You know, it's the whole placebo thing. People hear better because they think this, or sometimes it is better, sometimes it's not. Um, for this, what I'm going to do is to hold it down, I'm going to put a couple pieces of um, duct tape in here. It's going to hold it. If you really, really want to go crazy, you can do hot glue. I don't like hot glue in this situation only because this doesn't weigh anything. It's not going anywhere. Um, you know, if it had weight to it and you'd be worried about it flopping out, then I would definitely do hot glue. All right, so if you look at that, that's right there. We're just going to pop this cover back on. Also, when you pop on the cover, it goes one way. All right, so if you look at it, the, the things match up. All right. And there you go. Now you have a hidden microphone. Beautiful. All right, guys, now we're in the back over here. Uh, this is like your trunk lid. I mean, yeah, your trunk hatch, whatever. So we're just going to go with your pry tool, and you're going to pull this forward. It's going to beat. That one right there is hard. The rest of them are decently easy. You don't have to take everything down. You can just let that hang. Then you're going to come over here. This one's a bit of a pain. There's a clip right here. You have to pull for dear life to get out. So there's a metal bar here, so be careful. I usually just wiggle it. And it comes right out. All right, now once you release that, you get enough room where you can slide this out from under it. So you're going to pull here. There's a clip here. And then, now we got that loose, you can actually slide that under. Uh, if you really want to go CD, you can take all this off, but it's not necessary. And then, uh, if it comes out, just keep, just pull on it, don't flex, okay? So, oh, where are we on this one? Alright, so we're over here now. Alright, so what I just did, let me put that back in so I can show you. There's pretty much three clips here, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to... It came out easier that time, but you're going to pretty much wiggle until it comes up, pop, pop. Let me figure out why that's giving me a hard time. Alright, so if you can look over here, there's one two, three clips, so that's one, two, and three. The reason that probably came out super easy is because the clip is stuck right there. You can see that. All right, and then uh, there's one clip over here. All right, guys, so uh, now that we got that pillar off, all you gotta do now is run the mic. So run the mic just like this. I would wrap it around here once. And then just wrap it around here. You could zip tie this if you want. I just don't. It's not really necessary. Alright, so because that'll keep it pretty. Actually, no. 
I'm lying. He means it. That, that's not as that cable's not as taut as I thought. Our towel. Oh, what's the word? I just completely lost the word. Um. All right, and then just another zip tie there. You can use electrical tape if you don't have zip ties. So now I'm going to cut the excess off and the excess off. All right, and now we're going to go put a little tape right here to hold it in place. All right, that's that. All right, now let me switch angles. All right, guys, now we're on the side of your car. Uh, I'm just going to grab one of the panel tools. Let's pop off the side. Uh, you can open up the glove box right there. Open up the glove box, stick it in here, pops right off. Alright, and then once you look inside, you'll be able to see all the openings. Alright, uh, so next thing you're going to do now is you're going to pull out your radio to uh, pull out the radio to run the cable, okay? So, you look right here, this all goes in. So, the cable that you just ran, you can go right here. If you really want, you could drop it from the top. Then it comes out right there. Okay. And then now we're going to shoot it across. All right, guys. So we just ran the microphone. And I'm going to pull out the radio. Um, real quick, I've done this video before, and I used to say it was because it was warped in the sun. I don't think that's the case anymore because this car. You can tell I've never seen any sun. There's zero warp going on here, and it still won't come out. So, I'm going to put the key in. Put the other key in. Right now, it's a little cold today. It's like 40 degrees, maybe. Don't laugh if you're watching this video, it's like 20 below. But, so my hand's a little thing, uh, a little rough. Um, now, I feel the keys are sharp and they're cutting up against my hand. Now, you should never pull on this to the point where it hurts your hands, you know? So, since this is stuck, I'm going to do my own trick. Like I said, th this is something we do. You know, do at your own risk. So, you pull out the key and you push a little. And it comes out a little bit. Do it on the same thing on the other side. Um, let's get that out. Find the edge. Uh, this one goes pretty far back. Uh, this one, actually, this one I'm going to go and corner turn up, okay? If you're going to do this better, it's better if you do it with a straight angle. Pick. Alright, so, like I said, if you do this, you're doing it at your own risk. We're not responsible if you damage anything. We're actually showing you an advanced tip. Wait, you can feel it. The center console was built too tight for the specifications of the radio. It's a hair. This isn't hard at all. It's just, just gotta be careful. And the last thing, just take it easy. The last thing you wanna do is rush it and break something. All right, that comes out. As soon as that comes out, you're gonna release the keys. Okay. So, um, all right, that's out. Let me, uh, let me go get the adapter and we'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So here's the deal. Um, running the cable from that side to this side isn't really super hard, but there's not a way that I can, there's no way to do it that I know is super easy. So I'm just going to drop the glove box. It's, it's decently easy to drop it in this car because it's, for most of you, it's going to be quicker to drop the glove box, drop the glove box, than it is to figure out how to snake that wire. Because there's no clear way of doing it. All right, so I'm going to grab a, I think a T30. Is that what goes down here? Oh, T25. It might be a T27. Um, I can get away with using a T25 though. Yeah, so I can get away with a T25. So you got one down here. 
We got another one right here. Look at this here camera angle. Can you see that? Yep. All right, and then we're gonna got a couple over here. Ooh, this is these go up. I'm gonna use a screwdriver. Um, if you guys, you guys who don't have a screwdriver, you can use a regular ratchet, and then uh, you can use a regular ratchet. And then what's gonna happen is that you just stick stick the bit into the ratchet, and you can ratchet it out. It's a screwdriver. I think I said unibit by mistake. For some reason that screw staying with the car. Come out, these want to stay with the car. Oh, there you go. All right, now leave that last one on. There's a couple of screws here on the side you have to take off. All right. Um, looks like there's one. I'll switch camera angles later and I'll show you. Second one here. It looks like there's a third one up top. Keep track of where your screws go. These screws all seem to be the same screw. Uh, Audi is good like that, where they won't put different screws as to not confuse you. Sorry for the noise, but we're in an industrial area, and in the garage there's not enough light. Alright, so we got the three screws on the side off. Try taking this one off. Hopefully, that's all I need to take off. Now, as I take this off, I'm holding the glove box on the bottom so it doesn't just fall. All right. I'm um, looking here. Yeah, it looks like it just it pressure fits into the side. All right. Um. Now, I'm gonna unplug this little airbag connector, okay? Now, make sure when you unplug the airbag connector, do not turn on the ignition or you'll trip an airbag light, okay? So, I'm gonna go over here. Make sure you guys are with me in all this. Okay, we're still good. All right, so we're gonna wrap the cable around here. All right, I'm gonna clip it in with the factory wire. I'm gonna do the same up here. I'll run it behind here. Like I said, you could have snuck it behind here, but the sneak to get to the back of this is impossible. It's not, it's not impossible, it's just one of those things where it's not super easy to do. So if you even try it, some of you won't just won't be able to do it. I, you know, I try to do my videos easy enough where everyone can do them. Actually, I lied. The sneak, I don't know how I pulled that off, but it's a tight little cavity here. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my gravity tool. And there's two big air vents here. You're gonna just stick the wire between the two air vents. So in directly in front of the metal, you stick it between the two air vents, you'll see it comes up really easy.
Okay? So that comes up right there. Make sure you're behind everything so when you put everything back together, it doesn't catch anything. All right. A couple zip ties here. And then, of course, you're going to clip the uh, access off. Now, don't be lazy. Always makes me laugh when I pull back stuff and I see all these um, clip, you know, all these extra things here. So, again, it takes two seconds to do. Um, all right, da -da, da -da -da. All right, that's good. Let me uh, go talk to the customer real quick and I'll be right back. Alright guys, now I want to show you, you're going to pull out this cubby hole to put a wire in here. It's super easy to do as long as you know how to do it. Um, if you don't know how to do it, it's almost impossible. Trust me, I tried to figure it out and um, I couldn't. I gave up. And the customer actually um, went in there and just broke it. <laughs> Not this car, another car. Yeah, the customer's like, I don't care. He just ripped the lid off and got it out somehow. But anyway, it's really easy. All you do is you come over here, you just pull up on this. This comes right up. Uh, there's two connectors back here. All you got to do is clip one and clip two. All right. And then we do, when you come over here, you're gonna have a couple of, you're just gonna pry up in the middle and pull it back and it comes right up. All right, so once you get that up, you close this. Actually, you gotta close it to get it out. All right, and once you get that out, all you gotta do is drill a little hole back here now and the wire goes in right through there, okay? That's it. Wasn't that easy? You thought that would be a lot harder, didn't you? All right, let me go put a little hole and we'll be right back. All right, guys, here we are back in the car. Um, I went and got an iPod cable. Sorry this video is not uh, up to NFIC standards, but I'm uh, not in a rush. I just uh, I'm a little under the weather. I'm actually going home after this. So I'm uh, not taking my time like I usually would. All right, so pretty much, you can't run it this way. Drill the hole in the back of the pocket, okay? So all we're gonna do is gonna open this up. Let me make sure the fo you're in focus. No, you worry. All right, so open the hole. This goes into the back. Voila. All right, so now this is really easy to run. Hands pretty much touch. Right. So now put this. You gotta close it to put it back in, right? There you go. All right. Everything went in back in there. These two connectors go back in here. And there is, it looks like there isn't, so huh? I thought there would be room to pull. Looks like once you, uh, once you lock it in, it locks in, so yeah, you can't actually move it. All right, so let me give this customer a little more slack because this isn't enough slack for me. Uh, so I'm gonna leave the cable right here. I'll be right back. You don't need for you guys to watch all that. All right, guys, I'm gonna walk you through the install. Um, this isn't that bad in this car. It's actually pretty easy. Um, I mean, the wiring, I guess. So first of all, make sure there's no CDs in your changer. Even if you know there are, do this. Make sure it says no CD. All right, now I'm gonna turn this upside down. It's important you have no CDs because if you turn this upside down and you have a CD in there, you're gonna get in trouble. All right, now, Make sure you have your radio code, because right now this is putting a little stress on here, and you don't want it to come out by mistake, and then you need the radio code. So this is a Posi tap. We sell these for a, a couple bucks on the website. It's the easiest way to tap into ground. So 
So you just go into here, okay? Just make sure you guys are, nope, you don't see that. Let me zoom in. All right, so pretty much what we did, this poly stack comes in like this, okay? So I'm going to stay separated, put this onto here, as far back as possible, you don't want it as close to the radio. And then as you look, it's aiming up, so this thing is actually, because if you aim it down, it's gonna hit when it goes in, all right? So if you look at this, it has a little needle. Once you screw this in, the needle's gonna pierce the wire and make a contact there, okay? Now you're gonna grab the radio insulation harness, the radio insulation harness, sorry, the harness off the dention, and the harness with dention is a plug and play, it has two wires, it has a black wire and a brown wire. The brown wire is the mute, all right, so we'll get to that in a second. The black wire is the ground, okay? See so it says GND, that's ground. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a pair of stri uh, wire strippers, you're gonna get some strippers and take off the rubber shielding. All right, just like that, just enough. Then you're gonna come over here. Well, I don't know if you saw that, but sorry. I usually have a wider angle. You're gonna come over here, you're gonna take this apart. Now, by all means, you can put a ring terminal and ground it to any screw on the radio. Um, these videos are made for people who have least technical ability. Uh, so don't forget, I don't, uh, I can tear apart cars, ask me to cook. You're gonna starve. All right, so there goes that. So give it a nice tug, make sure it's not going anywhere, and now the unit's grounded. Now the main connection is up here. I'm gonna grab this. Just disconnect, this is the one on the top, okay? Always make sure that this is behind here so you don't scratch, okay? Now there's gonna be, on the top, there's gonna be a female that goes in, a male with female pins that goes in there, and here's a female connected with male pins that goes into here. All right, so that's done. Let me, what else do we gotta do? Uh, let me zoom out of here, over here. All right, so now the next wire is the mute wire. I'm 99% sure that on all TTs, this is open. Um, I don't have this on the website, I can sell these for like a dollar. This is the factory, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it can be a dollar. I have to check with my supplier. Um, so if you look over here, Oh, okay, this radio, when you look at the wiring diagram that's down here, the wiring diagram on the radio, it doesn't say mute. Now, I know that the mute wire is the one closest to here. Let me go verify that inside, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, yeah, since I'm on a video, I just wanted to double check, because the last thing you're gonna do is make a mistake. Um, and then, you know, realize you made a mistake and the video is no longer valid. All right, so what you're gonna do right here is, this is the thing. Now, here's the thing. I know this for a fact it's going to work, but if your radio does not say mute on the top of it, you know, um, be cautious, because we could be wrong. Um, this, I do this for a living, and we specialize also in Aganati, but I can't be held responsible if you plug it into the wrong hole and something goes wrong. So just, you know, just some, just a little, I guess disclaimer is the proper word for it. So what I'm gonna do now is that the mute wire came with this little rubber boot on it. If I could get it off, that'd be fantastic. All right, there you go. So that comes off. Now, if you look, it has teeth that go in like this, so we want them to match. So we're gonna come into here, and then the side that has the the the, the leg, so this is the leg, it's right next to it. We're gonna push that in. You hear a clip, all right? So now I'm gonna insert this connector right into here. All right, that takes care of the mute action. All right, now as far as the box, where is the box? Here it is, that's a dention box. Comes with its own microphone. Um, this is a clip-on microphone that you can clip on to the, let me zoom out because I keep forgetting that I'm zoomed in. Anyway, dention box. Uh, this clip-on microphone you clip onto the headliner, okay? You could do a lot of stuff with it, but the one that's hidden sounds better, number one, and number two looks better. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna run the microphone right here. Microphone plugs into here, like so. Um, the radio connection cable. Now this comes with a long enough cable so you can run this like into the glove box. Most of my customers don't like that. Um, you can always buy a cheap 
USB extension cable from eBay or something. All right, so now we're gonna plug this into here. All right, I usually recommend taping this off, um, but I don't have the room to do it now. So, you know, hopefully, actually, I just about to say that's BS. We gotta figure out how to do this. All right, so this is what I recommend you do. I recommend you take this out, the bottom piece. Yeah, we can't do it. I can't leave that like that. Because here's the problem. This guy drove about two hours to get to us. So, he can't just leave it like that. Because if he has a problem, I don't want him driving back. Or anybody, you know? So, I'm going to release that. Pull the wire forward. All right. Give it slack. And I'm going to come over here. Come over here. All right, so now we have these two wires here. I'm gonna grab a zip tie. These zip ties are not included. If you don't have a zip tie, grab electrical tape or something. All right, so that goes there. We put it through the front because it's probably gonna be a little easier. Now the whole purpose between doing this is so if someone yanks on the cable, it doesn't come unplugged. It's a little too much. We go there now here's the funny thing about this harness um the back of this radio the back of this thing on the bottom is a deep drop so this is one of the few times i do recommend you zip tie this to the harness usually on volkswagens and audis you can just let it flop around in the back and it's not a big deal this one i don't recommend that so i'm gonna go like this then like this um, i'm also gonna cut off if i can find it you know, always cut off the slack. All right, and then we're just gonna zip tie this to the main harness. Only reason we're doing this is so it doesn't fall. Um, Cause if it falls, it's gonna hit something and rattle around. And you don't want, last thing you want is like the door getting stuck. It doesn't even have to be super tight cause it's not going anywhere. That should be enough. All right, I'm sorry, trying to get my big hands out the way. All right, so once you do that, make sure everything's connected. Make sure all three plugs. This might be a little bit rough of a go down. Let's see. Yeah, it should be all right. Let's see how well this goes in. A lot of stuff back here now. Let's see, the key is that the box has to drop, but the box goes straight back or it doesn't drop. Then you're gonna, it's gonna be a little bit of pain on still. Yeah, you see the box is going straight back. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna leave this like this. And I'm going to go in and guide the box downwards. Ah, just trying to do it as nice as possible. So. And there you go. Oh. Of course, that one little wire. All right, it went in, so I'm not going to show you guys taking it out to get this wire back in. Um, obviously, that goes to teach and make sure that there's nothing under it it's a little hard with these um but yeah that's how you install it now we're gonna put this back pull this as far back and drop that down let me fix that wire before we do that and uh you know videos brought to you by nfitcarstereo.com we sell and install we also ship worldwide if you're a shop we do do dealer accounts uh you know as a shop or a customer you get our tech support um you know it's a lifetime if you bought the product from us and it. Oh, also, we have a demo video that shows you how this works, so check that out. And Fit Car Stereo, my name is Christian. Thank you for watching.